What's up, Okanagan? It is time for another wonderful podcast, and this time we're going to be learning about a bit of veganism and a few other things about the diets. We're here with Rochelle from Smudge Noshery, and you have made us some seriously mm -hmm. delicious food. We're going to be talking about veganism and her journey to actually owning this restaurant because she didn't just do this. She, she actually started Mr. Mike's in Seminar. Before that, mm -hmm. how much in the restaurant industry have you actually been in, involved? Well, I was uh, I was in with Boston Pizza for years, and before that, I was in Vernon and in quite a few different restaurants. And I was up at a golf course and ran a restaurant up there. So, I would say probably 10, 15 years now. Then you started Mr. Mike's. Then I kept up that position and started Mr. Mike's here. That was about nine, ten months ago, actually. Very that I was cool. doing that and then had a little bit of a shake up and a change in my life to pretty happy no cruel food. No cruel food. So you've been a bit of a vegan for a while. Oh, vegetarian because you said yeah. that you were slowly, yeah. oh, slowly turning. So I I would say it's been about two years I think that I've since I've eaten meat. And that came about where I was just standing at the pass in a restaurant. There's a pass where you grab the food and you run it out. And just okay. a plate of food went down, and I looked at the person beside me and said, I will never, ever, ever eat meat again in my life. Um, nothing led up to it at that point. There wasn't a doc. I've seen all the documentaries, you know, I saw all the sad stuff, but I mean, I, I still had my chicken wings. I still ate everything. And it was just a moment from one to the next. And I went vegetarian, and then now that I'm here, well, now that I'm face of veganism, vegan. I'm gonna, yeah. Now you, the salmon like, arm, I, I have to it. dedicate it now. I know, people it's people are watching. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna drive out. It's, like, it's, it's stressful. I feel like I'm getting watched now to see. <laughs> Do you find it difficult to only eat plant based everything? No, I don't anymore. Uh, I, I did. I think it was also one of those people that was vegetarian who thought, oh, I could never live without my cheese. Or, you know, I, all the little things you kind of tell yourself. I couldn't have, yeah. have to have cream in my coffee. Yeah. You know, this. Having this place has really proved to me you, you can do it. Like it's not, it's really not that hard. It, it, once, once you dedicate to it and you, I mean, am I, am I blessed to let I walk into this kitchen every single day and I can create beautiful things? Of course, I'm going to eat this way. Yeah. Um, so I get that. I'm kind of set up for it, but that's what I'm trying to bring to seminar now. It's food that tastes good. It's vegan, but it's not gross. I, I, I've had a few meals here and some of the best food I've ever had. Like, oh, I appreciate that. Like, some flavors you'll never have tasting meat. It, it is fantastically mm -hmm. delicious. So you bought this, what, a couple months ago? I, about a month ago. It hasn't even been that long. I was, I opened October 15th to the public. I did a kind of soft open before, so people kind of popped in. I, you know, I fed them and, and whatnot. But yeah, it's, it's only been a few weeks and it's been incredible. Okay, so why, why would you want to go full hog? Okay, I'm a vegan, cool. But let's really bring it to the actual community and let people know about what the yeah. lifestyle is about. Like, why, why do you feel the want to educate? Ah, uh, like I said, it's something that, that I've, I've been naturally going this way for a while and sort of morphing into a, like a hippie for the last year and a half or so. Anybody that knows me knows I've just, you know, I've tattooed and I've got bandanas and I've just sort of gone on this path. Okay, cool. Um, that the universe has taken me on. And you weren't like that at all before. Like, okay. No. You, no. Ish, because I don't want to be rude. How old are you? 40. Okay. You used to go 40 ish. Mm -hmm. No, 40. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, 40. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think you've actually started to be like change that? Because what were you like before the whole vegan thing? Because uh, you said there was a change. I, I was just like you anyone like, else. I went to the grocery store. I started in the meat aisle. I picked whatever I wanted. Pork chops were Tuesday. I was having spaghetti on Wednesday. I, you know, my, okay. everything was based around meat. Just like, you know, I bought a roast because we're having roast dinner. Um, if people came over, it was always planned around the meat that I would cook. I was known for, for cooking these big meals, and it just slowly started to change. And it wasn't until I got this place that I realized, wow, this is not that hard. It, it really, the, the vegan food coming out now, mm -hmm. I think everybody thinks of like carrot protein bites and, you know, like the gross vegan. Ah, you, yeah, yeah, tofu everything. Or just like the grossest desserts you've ever, you're like, mmm. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Mm. Gluten-free, no, yum. I, I felt great after eating it. I spit it out. Like it was like, there's so many gross things or, or bland. 
Went to a lot no of flavor. vegan places that were, you know, I thought, do you, do you, do you have salt do you in the building? Season, it's yeah. called pepper. You gotta hit your food. Salt. Yeah, so there was that, um, knowing that I could create dishes that were really tasty and exciting. And uh, being that veganism is blowing up. I mean, it it's, is. It's on There's trend. a huge lifestyle change. It, it's a huge lifestyle change, and it's on trend. Um, obviously, the different documentaries that are out are starting to change from, let's look at the slaughterhouse and how sad it is. We've all seen that, right? And you get conditioned to it. It's just like you, the forever ago with the dogs and Sarah McLaughlin mm-hmm. singing, and you know, the first time you saw that, you I cried. cried my eyes out, you know. But the 20th time, I was like, you're singing with it, you know, and you're not even, you're not really putting it together anymore, right? Like, you're not disassociating. Putting, you disassociate yeah. what the message is because you've seen it so many times. Yep. And that was kind of the same thing with, you know, like, the, look, look at the pigs or look at the cows or look at the chickens. And this became with the game changers, obviously, which is a very hot button thing right now. I spent a lot of my day talking about it. In fact, I think it's pretty cute because. <laughs> There's so many men that are coming in, and they, you can tell they're just kind of looking around, and they don't really know if they belong. I'm kind there. of embarrassed. Yeah, they're. Go yeah. get me something, wife. Please. Yeah, oh, 100 percent. Or she'll look back, and they'll be like, just whatever, whatever. whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Shawarma bowl, whatever. Shawarma, sure, I don't even care. I can't even pronounce it. What is that? Yeah, just get it. <laughs> sure, and, sure, you know, sure. and they'll eat, and then they, and you can see it, and they're just, they're, they're like, this is incredible. Like this is, these are flavors I've never tasted before, and it's so I feel great. That's the big thing. My brother's transitioning right now. Is he? How is he finding it? He said it's the same thing, you know, like I just sent a lasagna home with him last night and he, he's, they've, they've stopped, I think they're on day five or six or something like that. Oh, so he's so. new, new, new. Mm-hmm. But there's Ooh. tons of people that are new, new, new and trying it and, you know, it's every little difference. You know, it's not about just the animal suffering anymore. It's about the, the impact of what it's happening to our world, right? With farming. That's what I'm speaking about. Oh, the, the farming, mm-hmm. yes. Actually, funny a little story. Yes. One of the main reasons, I hope it doesn't follow your feed, but whatever, I don't care, is <laughs> I dated a chicken farmer. Yes. I think I did. I think I did. I think we, we spoke that. slightly about mm-hmm. that, but that obviously churned your stomach. That was before. So that's what started this. Really, was you know I had gone out there and I worked my butt off. I, you know I was moving chickens and collecting. And I just I, it bugged me. Like it definitely it was an itch it. there, yeah, but like, like it was you like, just, but I just, this you know, is normal. Yeah, don't be that vegan. Don't be that. I wasn't vegan at the time. I wasn't even vegetarian. You know, at that time I was tr- weight training quite heavily. Where are you? And I was, you know, eggs and chicken was just, that was day. your diet. Every day I woke up, I had two eggs and then I had chicken and broccoli and rice and chicken and like so much of it that I think that's also what started it was just like, yeah. ew. Yeah, this is, I've eaten nothing but chicken just, for so long. Like something's wrong with it. Yeah, ew, like I don't want to do this anymore. So I was in that life and and then I seen, I was out there on a kill day. You know, I, I seen the cycle, uh, how long they live. I seen, you know, what they're in, what, what it's like. And it was, you know, once you see it, you can't unsee it. No, I've been in a couple kill situations and it is, it's not nice. No, no it, you know, as much as you think, oh, yeah, just chick, they'll they'll just fine, eggs or, fine. you know, it's like it, they don't even kill them. Yeah, go out there, go go collect, go walk through a, a real production place and mm-hmm. see and see the suffering. And, and you, you got to be pretty heartless to be like, eh. but we get conditioned, right? So we just continually do it. Well, I also like to think of it as like, if you don't see it, mm-hmm. it doesn't exist. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of tragedies that are happening in this world that we kind of just mm-hmm. blinders on and completely ignore, because exactly. if we if we pay too much attention to it. It might, one, might drive you crazy because there's nothing you can actually do about it. And two, it inconveniences us. A hundred percent. You do, and, and, and we always think of like, you know, I remember this person I was dating and he would talk about, oh, like they, they are people that will, you know, come out there and find where the farm is and run in there and try to, you know, run. Yeah. Do you remember the minks? Like, do you remember that? I think it was on the coast, but it, where they, they, they went and they let them all out. And then half of them got eaten, and it was just this traumatizing, just like, just, just, just a mess. Well, the poor girl that thought she was, they were going to go into their makeup. Yeah, we're saving and, you, we're, we're saving you. And nope. just things are just dive bombing. I mean, it was just horrifying, but these people are out there. I get it. I even get that kind of passion. It's just, how can you get your message out without, you don't want to be preachy. Mm-hmm. You don't want to be, and I'm not. I mean, I had a blizzard two weeks ago. Well, it's, it's, it's like having, like having... <laughs> It's, it's like having a penis and it's like having religion. It's great that you have one. Right. Don't put it in my it's, face. It's exa- right? Exactly. And it's just like, you know, you can see people. I mean, the conversation 
is so much better now, though. Like, people are so willing oh, to talk about it. He, we're getting to be far more open about a lot more conversations yeah. that absolutely need, need to be to held. Happen. They do. Mm -hmm. And one of them is about where our food come from, comes from, questioning previous diets and why those things were even exist the way they are. Just because, because food fed from a baby. If if you really look at the marketing of what we've been fed through everything, just so someone can sell a buck. Oh, it makes you sit down and go, what else don't we know? It yeah, does, it's, what's it's, being kept from everyone? You, like you start to question everything. You're like, I don't, you know, what's real and what's not real. It, it is crazy. It's it's been, you know, like, like I said, I have I had children, you know, and I was, you know, when they hit six months, it was you, you fed them the food and they hit. I can't remember now because they're older. <laughs> Whatever month, ten months, eleven, twelve months, and then you introduced meat, and it was just what you did, and they had to, uh, milk in their bottle because they better have milk. Like, I mean, now the stuff, I mean, it's so unbelievably ridiculous. Yeah, it's like, well, that did not react well with the no, body. No, it's like, or exactly. Like, I know, see, I've been eating so clean now since having this place, since it's, you know, switching over, that when I said I had a blizzard, I didn't even think about it. Just my daughter, went, we went through, and I've done it a million times, and I was sitting on the couch, and I wasn't, it was just It was a habit. It wasn't, it wasn't just habit, it was like, just didn't this taste right to you? This doesn't taste as good as it used to. But I was, still wasn't equating it. And then I went, oh, just my daughter. We're eating, we're eating dairy. And she was like, yes, we are. Well, like, then. You know, it's just, but I mean, did I pay for it? Let me tell you. Yeah, it was just like when you go clean, you taste like even a little tiny bit of cream in, in a coffee or anything. Like, Does I, it like upset your it, gut it, after a while? I felt it like... in like my shoulder. Like, really? I felt it, it, it just, it really, I felt it in my skin. I felt it everywhere. I just felt like death for like two days. Because I've heard that. Once you go like super clean, once your body is like toxin to free, yeah. when you start adding to it, it really like hits you hard. Well, your body will let you know. Like once you really you do a cleanse and your body is, is running, you're fueling your body with like whole foods and like really good food. Your brain is firing better. Yeah. Everything is just better. You sleep better. Yeah. I 100% believe that half the pharmaceuticals that exist do not need to exist if you just feed your body what it wants and needs. It's true. Just to rebuild itself. Mm -hmm. like yeah. it's, it's and doing it intuitively. I mean, even how we've been told how many times, you know, what we should eat and when we should eat it in the dietary. How many times a Canadian, what if they come out with their diet guide and... You know, How many times does that damn triangle turn well, upside it just, down? You know, and, and now it's like, who's paying more money? They are. Okay, eat that. You know, it, it, it's, yeah. it's where's so, our economy going? Yeah, it's what's <laughs> happening. Okay, we got to go back over here. I mean, it's so ridiculous. And we're not stupid anymore. We have the internet. We have podcasts. We have so much Data. available Every, it's, to it's, us. it's everywhere. Yeah. You don't have to be to go to school for this stuff. You don't have no, you to don't. be really smart and study it forever. Nope. This is new to me, really. So. Yeah. And you want something really, really interesting? If you read an average of three books on a single subject, you are more knowledgeable about that single subject than 90% of the planet it are. It is true. Because everyone's a damn headline reader. It, it's just a headline reader and just and they just spew what they just saw this morning. I, what facts do I have? Yeah. Like, what did I see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, and, you know, they, let's talk about that quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's an exciting time to be alive. It's a, it's I don't the, know if I would have worked this 10 years ago. I don't think I would have been brave enough. Like to own a business? No, to do the vegan. To be like, well... So if you were like hardcore, like your brother, just like, okay, now we're doing this. Yeah, I saw I a documentary. I don't know if it's 40. I don't know if... Probably. Probably is. I don't know if it's just that I don't care anymore. You know, this is my opinion. This is what I believe. This is what, you know, has been... Helped me. Yeah. In my body and how I feel and people close to me and people that I know and... What's... Yeah, what's changed. wonderful about the internet is that you can find that little group of people, that clan that you can attach mm -hmm. to. But... On the other side, it's also a very dangerous thing because then you're in an echo chamber. Yes. <laughs> and it's true. And you just have to, you know, sometimes you realize, and even sometimes I'll say something and think, oh, I sound like that vegan. But it does just happen. You just turn into that vegan. Yeah. Because you start to talk about it a lot all day long. Well, yeah. Once you yeah. actually understand it mm -hmm. and know it and you like, mm -hmm. you feel it and then you're like, okay, this is part of me. Yeah. Yeah. You want to share that because you know, this can really make your life better. Please like, do it. Yeah. Do it. Mm -hmm. It's exactly it. You know, it's like, and I've always been that type of person. You know, I was on the celery juice kick and I was the one going, you got to try what? celery juice. It was not that long ago. Where celery we're juicing juice. Celery. Really? Because the celery's got like very little in it anyway. Well, yeah. It was the <laughs> celery industry that wanted to sell celery because it was like too fun. You had to have so much celery to make a glass of juice. But I actually really, really felt amazing. But that was because I was starting to do this whole food thing. You were so changing was, your diet yeah, at the same time anyway. Yeah, I got anyway. a big juicer and I was like doing everything really healthy. I always went in and out of you know, fads. Things, fads for sure, and this one just kind of stuck. Really? Yeah, and it's been, and it's good. I mean, I'm, as we say fads, 
personally, I've always had trouble with my weight. Mm -hmm. I've been as high as 305 pounds and as mm -hmm. low as 210 pounds in the past 10-ish years. Mm -hmm. So for me, what has been working is intermittent fasting. Absolutely. And That's a big secret. If you don't know what intermittent fasting is, it is fantastic. Like it really, works. skip yeah. breakfast, skip a bit of lunch, eat once a day within a six hour period and your calorie yeah. intake, you're pretty, pretty damn good to go. You're gonna lose it all. Like, yeah. And then, what is that? What's the Atkins-ish diet? What is that one? Oh, the keto. Keto, yeah. I've, I've had a lot of people say, yeah, this yeah. thing works. Yeah. But then it does. But have you ever seen somebody who lost a mass without a keto weight? You're like, no. I honestly usually think that they've just been through chemo. Like it, it is a, it's not a just healthy. Sunk in oh, and... they're they're like, oh, I lost 150 pounds in you know three months. I'm like, I yeah, don't eat it. sugar. It's gonna go eat right back on yeah, your hips. Yeah, like, I can see it. Like it's not a healthy weight loss look to me. Like that's not you know, definitely not. But and I get a lot of people who come in here and say, oh, what do you have that's keto? So I've. It's basically low carb. I was really thrown because to me, I'm like, I think it's a lot of meat. It is. It's, it's basically nothing but protein. Meat and cheese. Like, it's yeah, cheese it's, too. It's, yeah, cheese, meat protein, no breads, no sugars. And there might be something else to it. That's basically yeah. it, I think. Because, I mean, they would come into the restaurant all the time with Mike's and Boston Pizza. And, you know, I can eat uh, two steaks and cover it with cheese and I'm going to lose weight. And then you think to yourself, <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, okay. you really got a secret there. It's going to be really sustainable. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a sustainable lifestyle. So it has to be sustainable. And I mean, it's just little tiny things every day. And How are those arteries doing? Right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> That's it. I mean, anybody that I've ever seen who had a massive keto weight drop, I could call it and be like, is it keto? I know, I'm like, you, you're doing keto, I can tell. You can tell by the look of the person. Really? They've gone to an island for, wow. and they've just seen sunlight, and they're coming back out. Yeah, I just don't, I I mean, that's my personal opinion. I'm sure people will be like, uh, keto for life. But bitch, please! Bitch, yeah. <laughs> you don't even know what you're talking about, vegan. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> just another dumb vegan lady. <laughs> How do you know your friends are vegan? They'll tell They'll you. They'll tell you. <laughs> I just ordered all those shirts. Coming soon. Oh, yeah, you actually get some merch in? Yeah, I am. I found these shirts, Eat Figs, Not Pigs. That's pretty cute. That's adorable. That is really cute. make it my uniform. <laughs> One employee. One of the things that <laughs> probably concerns a lot of people is the actual cost of veganism. Do you so. know, and that's so crazy to me because the cost, I mean, it's a switch. Like, you have to, like, have you seen the price of meat now? Oh, absolutely. Like, you're basing Pigs. your meal around a $25 hunk of flesh. Okay. If, if you have no idea how much goes into making a single steak and how much of that animal is actually wasted and probably goes into hot dogs and other compressed meats, mm -hmm. you probably rethink how much you spend on meat versus just vegetables. Oh, for sure. I mean, in <laughs> our vegetables, so everything's at a premium now. And we're living in a time that's, it, it's, it's, it's hard to get ahead. It's hard to do anything. So I think a lot of times our food is where we suffer, but people are going and doing these quick, you know, like I, I can honestly say I am embarrassed how many times I went to Little Caesars for five dollars pizzas for my kids when I was running from work and well, just busy, busy, busy. Yeah, three that's ways, two, Bing, Bing, Bing. They were happy. I was good. Didn't really put it together. And now it's like you know, it's, it's you're busy. So that's why we're doing here is with the, <laughs> with the taking cooking for people and the take home meals. And so people do have an option. They can just call and say, listen, can I get a chili? You know it's made from scratch. Can I get a salad? And it's the same thing as if you're going to go to Domino's or you're going to go to wherever. And just interjecting some healthy healthy food in there. That's what nice. we're trying to do here for sure. That's one of the biggest Do things. you have a place that you would specifically recommend to go for like veganism types of food? Let's I mean, there's, there's... Who do I want to plug? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly the thing. I'm... What do I like right now? <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just farmer's markets, but I don't really know okay. how much so, they're in the winters. You know, absolutely. I mean, we, we here, we're very, very blessed here with, a, with we have DeMille's, Brad out at DeMille. He's got a beautiful place. I mean, yeah. his, his they, produce is gorgeous. I believe them and Pedro's yes. try to live by the 100 mile rule. Yes, and they do. So, I mean, it's, I mean, they're, they're beautiful. They're beautiful places to, to go take people that are visiting the area. Um, I get a lot of my stuff there. I stop in. I have. We'll stop at the grocery stores. I know where everything is now. Like I've, I've got this down to a science. I know my basil is going to be at Save On Foods because they have a big bag for five dollars. No, I shouldn't say that. They're all going to get my basil. 
You it's, ruined it! You ruined it! I didn't Cut. mean that. It was a wholesale club in Vernon, and they have a good deal. Anyway, so they have that. I know with Askew's, I have used the Daya cheese products. Um, no Frills has just brought in some the Daya have products. They? Absolutely. I just went there today, and they're, I mean, they're, I think they're about, they're a little bit under Askew's. I really like supporting local. I, mm -hmm. I, I do. Um, there's no question. I like, you know, Askew's is very local, and it's, you know, I, it's kind of been here since I was a kid, and... So I, I really like to support to support them for sure, um, but like I said, it's 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 knowing the places to go. Really, I mean, you go go in no frills when they're blowing stuff out. It happens all the time. Go in it does. and just go into if you don't have money, just go into the few bins. Like I mean, they blow stuff out. Like just today, a buck for a pound for Roma tomatoes. Like that's a good I've deal. Been, I've been on that rack. I'm like, man, yeah. there's some good deals on yeah. that. Or the squashes, you know. And it's like I mean, this kind of cooking is you do have to to prep it. That's the number one hardest thing. Yes. And I was a single mom for many, many, many years where I worked, you know, 12, 14 hours a day. And I was like cross-eyed tired by the time I came home. And then I was going to another job for a quick nap. And then I went and I would bartend and I would just like continually doing that. So I understand mm -hmm. very, very well the time, the that, time that it takes and the money that it takes and how tired we are. We're, we're physically exhausted. And I mean, the restaurant industry... Besides this, I mean, I just talk to happy little vegans all day. It's great. Yeah, now, yeah, you've made not just like a lifestyle change of your diet. Like yeah. you've you've completely got a different right angle. Completely, like just completely. It was a it was a change in me, and it was a crisis of conscience. I would say. Now I am kind of curious. Mm -hmm. How happy are you now compared to before then? Well, I haven't been as happy. And it's and it's a true happiness. It's 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 very different to come to work every single day, and just help people, you know. Or people that walk in that are so fraught, they're so hangry. They they're I've had people literally walk in crying, like I can't eat anything. What can you eat? Avocado and spinach. Awesome. Sit in. Like it it's I can do that here. Really? It's so a totally different. How much of your clientele are just like? I want to say like vegetarian vegans, mm -hmm. but also have some sort of possible medical issue where they're like, I can't go out and eat anything. A lot. Yeah. Or just like have people who have come in that were like, I just was at the naturopath and like show their list and I've been there too. You know, how am I supposed to? I can't. I'm allergic to air. Like, you know, it's like everything, everything you're allergic to. Right. So oh, no. it's, 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 it's been that it's been working with people and building a clientele. And it's crazy to me in two weeks how many people are really special to me now. And it's not, and when I really? think about that, it's been two weeks that I've known these people. Like I have, there's a girl across the street at the barber shop. She's just adorable. She's every single day she's here. She has a coffee. She orders breakfast. She's such a supporter. She's constantly tagging me and stuff. And I mean, we live in a really cool, incredible little town and I've never came down here. That's cool. Yeah. You've got a nice little advocate mm -hmm. there. I like it. Yeah. I, I have a few that are just like, I, you know, you think I know them. I don't. Exactly. My mom said that. She saw a bunch of stuff. Well, are those all your friends? <laughs> I said, no. I don't know who any of these people are. Like, I don't know them. And they're, hey, I was just in there and the food was awesome and this and tagging. And That's fantastic. The excitement of it is exciting to me. It That's makes good. me come, you know, I've been... You want to do yeah. it. Like I'm, I'm super passionate about br bringing this food here now. And, and, you know, I start earlier and earlier and earlier in the morning. Cause I'm like, no, like it is just me. And I want it to be just me. You know, I want it to be a personal experience when people come in and, you know, I make everything from scratch. That's good. Yes. Yeah. This chaga though. Right? I cannot, I, I honestly, t I'll tell you what, I'm going to prepay for five chagas. Free five people that come in to use this she's going to keep track of them mm -hmm. it's darth buddha darth buddha is how it is mm -hmm. and if you do not if if you do not use them by january 1st i'm going to get a giant cup put it all in one cup and drink the whole thing myself so there's gonna be five chagas sitting here for anyone right. that wants them and it tastes like it tastes like brain co happy coffee it, it well it's made out of chaga which means it's a, it's a mushroom which is superfood mm -hmm. It's fantastic for the brain. Mm -hmm. It doesn't give you that that caffeine crash. No. And it tastes like. It's earthy. Like hot, it, it is. It's mm -hmm. like it's like an earthy hot chocolate. It doesn't even taste like no. coffee. No. And it's like cinnamon and different spices in there. It's delicious. Is it just uh, chocolate mushroom? No. Nope. It is. Throw not. It? There's coffee in there. Okay. There is the mushroom powder. 
that goes into it. There's maple syrup in there. There's cinnamon. There's cocoa. Maple syrup. Yeah, and MTC oil. That's the brain oil. Um, oh, okay. yes, 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 yes. Uh, my mm -hmm. wife has got some of that. It's like a yeah, yep. delicious, delicious stuff. Right, we're going to start digging into this and have a bit of a mukbang. But before we do that, what is it? What is in it? Okay, so you have, it's on a bed of spinach. We have arugula here, veta, which is the kitschy way of saying vegan feta, <laughs> pomegranates. You have your falafels that I make from scratch. You have a pickled slaw on either side, and you have a tahini dressing over the top with some microgreens. Oh, wow. Making it pretty and Instagrammable. Oh, I like the microgreens. I used to actually grow some of these. I love them. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Before we dig in, we're going to take a look at your kitchen because it is a wonderfully compact little kitchen. It is. Give us a tour. Mm -hmm. This was just built. My brother came and did this for me. I was kind of a little bit, uh, felt a little pent up in there. So you have here, we have our window here that I put all the baked goods. Baked goods have become absolutely huge. Um, I think more than anything, people miss having a treat. Well, they're vegan, right? Yep. Well, everything's vegan. So there's no eggs and like nothing no, in it. Like... No, everything's vegan. And then you have stuff that's like the gluten-free, allergy-free. There's nothing in it, um, which is everything, really. Everything here is gluten-free. Nut-free. Nope, nuts. Don't I don't know that. where you got this glass pumpkin from, but it's really cool. Winners. <laughs> Winners. <laughs> and we have our setup here for coffee, and we do the espresso shots for everybody, and so into the different drinks that we have. We have, well, probably my favorite is like, a, it's a cardamom blend in it, and then I put the espresso shot with it, and you choose your nut milk, whatever one you like. We have the golden milk, um, tons of different ones. Hot chaga, so oh, this you would really nice. like, yeah. That's the mixture, that's the mushroom hot chocolate. Lots of stuff, all our jars, even the oats we use, everything's gluten-free. We try to stick you know, with everything being as healthy as humanly possible. What else is exciting in here? All the different blends, all the different teas. This one here, if you come in for a chai tea, although I'm trying to figure out the little tea thingy, I keep screwing it up, <laughs> is straight from India. Is it? Oh, yeah. man, that is... That's awesome. Yeah, so that was brought that was in fantastic. by. Mm -hmm. That was the previous owner. She was. She went to India. And, um, yeah, she did. She was there for quite a while. Mm -hmm. and yeah, she, she brought that back. Then we have up here, where we keep all our products. I love this. We go straight up here. Obviously, we're, 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 we're tight on space, but totally. But I love it. it. And I love it. It's, it's 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 awesome. You see you see up there. You see your veggies. Fridge down here. Yep. Cool. Fridge down there. Pots for cooking. Um, we have our take-home meals that we have over there now. We've added salads and like combos, so. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna tuck into this and then start talking about it. I'm like so excited. This is like the only reason why I bothered having a podcast is to get free food. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is good. So falafels are my favorite. A lot of people come in here and they don't know what they are. They are chickpeas. A so this is a falafel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And the authentic ones from my Googling are supposed to be green. And I'm not going to tell you how I get them so green, but I figured some out. Man, that's good. Mm -hmm. No, they're creamy. They're Middle Eastern. It is. It's very creamy. Like, mm -hmm. So no gluten. No it's a bunch of chickpeas that you just ground up and then put into a patty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it into a patty and fry it up. They're really easy to make. My kids always, I used to always deep fry them. They're, they're, they're good deep fried. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. I pan fry them. I was kind of deep frying for the first couple of days, and then I thought, okay, we're healthy. We shouldn't yeah. deep fry. Yeah, really. I don't think people are coming here for deep fried food. A little like microgreen. Now that's what is that? That's a um, oh man. I used to grow them. I should know. I don't know. I love I just the, love them. I love the impact of the flavor in just a small mm -hmm. little thing. Mm hmm. I just like pretty things, pictures. I see. I was a photographer for years too. Mm hmm. So I think that comes into play when I'm. When I'm plating food or I am picking things to bring to the restaurant and whatnot. I want something that's, we live in an Instagram society now. Yeah, we do. Yeah, unless People it looks will funny. actually come up to just be able to come and take a picture of their food. They've done it. They're where they don't even eat and you just know. Really? Yeah. yeah. Vegan. Wow. It's mm -hmm. like, I'm going to climb that mountain mm -hmm. for the Instagram photo. Yeah. So the lemon wedge. Mm -hmm. Traditional? Not? Mm -hmm. Your own touch. I don't know. Traditional for me. Okay. I do like it. I just think it's a little... Zesty? Mm-hmm. 
Mm. I've never eaten on camera before. I know. It's a weird experience, isn't it? I think it? it's better. I think it will always be yeah. on camera now. Mm -hmm. Just as we were setting this up, a couple came in and thought we were having a romantic dinner with two cameras going. <laughs> right? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. That was pretty funny. Maybe they're really watching it. Mm hmm. Because this is cabbage, right? No. Oh, yeah. Cabbage. I thought yeah. you were going to say beets. <laughs> no, not this time. <laughs> you my you know, so many people eat and they're like, oh, I love beets. Which I actually do love beets. They're just a pain. Why? They're a real pain. They just die. They everything. dye your hands. Mm -hmm. You're like, hmm. They dye everything and fall on the ground and die. It's the spot I fell on. Like, it just drives me nuts. But I do love beets. I was never a beet fan. It just tastes like too much dirt to me. Really? I don't know why, what it oh, is. Oh, I even in the can. Like the gross little beets in the can. I was like, mmm. Oh, yeah, man. Right. Yeah, see, I've always, my mom was a really healthy eater. Right. So I think a lot of it came from, like, my mom hasn't eaten red meat in, you know, 30 years. Really? Mm -hmm. Do you think she was much of an influence on you for the veganism? She was much of an influence, but I, I just I was used to seeing somebody eat that way. Like it wasn't foreign to me, you know. Really? Yeah, that somebody was saying, "Oh, I, I can't eat. I don't, you know, I haven't eaten meat in years." And my mom has never really. So she'd had chicken and fish here and there. There's a lot of what, basically, what we eat is just by habit. Mm -hmm. And changing a habit is mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. I've never really had pomegranate on a food. Really? No. This is like the first time I've... Like I've eaten pomegranate, mm -hmm. but I've never actually used it as a topping. Mm -mm. It's you know totally what? different. Here's another pro tip. They're a pain, right? Nobody would want to deal with a pomegranate, and I don't deal with pomegranate either. Save on foods. Really? They take all the guesswork out for you. They just have little... Right when you walk in there, there's fruit, and they have jars of it. Right. Because it's the same... It's another messy sort of food group too when you're cooking with it and if you're using actual there's pomegranate. so much waste in it i the first time i, I opened up pomegranate i was like man mm -hmm. there's a lot of work to get these yes. things out or you can turn it they do all the tricks but it's just like a murder scene yeah spreads it it's just a they are so good though <laughs> a murder scene eh? Murder scene. Yeah. <laughs> somebody was cooking pomegranate your illiteracy is amazing <laughs> really smart. Damn vegans are at it again, yeah. cooking pomegranates. Well, what are they doing? Yeah, exactly. No, it's good. Uh, this is one, this is probably the most, one of the most popular bowls. Um, shawarma bowl, actually you had the shawarma bowl. That one's really, I did. yeah, really quite popular amazing. as well. Um, that's got the, like Indian spiced cauliflower and it's got like a mint salad and they're good. It's just all the flavors, right? This is what I, I like bowl cooking. I like the Buddha bowl style. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a nice chunk of cheese right here. Uh -huh. Give it a, for trying its own. Very soft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Black Sheep Vegan, to give them a plug. Awesome. Where are they from? Seven Arm? They work out of Westgate. What's it made out of? Tofu? Um, well, what do they do? Know, I, I guess coconut oil, nuts. I'll grab the thing. Yeah, I'm interested. Yeah. I can't remember this one. I know there's coconut because somebody had a major coconut allergy and I was reading everything. <laughs> the coconut allergy. I've never. Allergies for everything. Oh, man. Can't, yeah, some people, even here. So organic tofu, organic coconut oil, organic apple cider vinegar, and non-dairy lactic acid, onion powder, and sea salt. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I've heard a lot of talk about the estrogen that is in tofu. I heard that too. And that basically the only good tofu to eat is fermented. Hmm. What do you think about that? Like... Just because it changes like a lot of like for eating fermented things is actually incredibly healthy for the body. Mm -hmm. So I've heard. Well, like kombucha and all that. Like, yeah, right? kombucha or sauerkraut yeah. or. I love sauerkraut. <laughs> I do. I, I absolutely love sauerkraut. Yeah. Oh, I love it. My kids, I hated it. I was like, awesome. More for me. That's cool though. Mm -hmm. It's like um, one of the reasons why you really should not drink milk. Not only because one, it's not your damn species, and two, as much as they say that there is calcium in it which is true mm -hmm. unfortunately it's not the correct calcium oh it's 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 called casein and instead milk, of milk actually milk is insanity to me yeah instead of actually helping your bones grow stronger and, and preventing osteoporosis and mm -hmm. stuff like that it actually helps it 
Oh, for sure. Because the the casein is too big for it to be actually absorbed into your bone, so it mm-hmm. literally cases your bone, so no actual calcium can get into your bone and makes you brittle. You heard it here first. Like, can you believe that? There's so much coming out, though. Like, I mean, I honestly think in like five, ten years from now, I mean, even now it's getting like there's. I've been in contact with a couple old like buddies from like say ten years ago. I never in your life would you think that this is the person that would have gone vegan. Mm-hmm. Like men, like a lot of men that I that I know and have been friends with have you know I've got hey how you been good actually I've been vegan for about two years now like it's it's really wow because the information's there now yeah and, if, if, and you it, if you want it if you want it if you go search it, for it you'll find it you'll find it and it's it's undeniable you can't argue with it you can't I mean you're still gonna get the people who I just had a person in here the other day the plant thing mm-hmm. that the plants are screaming and the plants you're killing the plants and. You know, yeah. sometimes I just sit and smile. And like, I'm not, that, it's really hard to make me okay. shut up, but there are certain ways. Sometimes I'll just be like, have a lovely day. <laughs> it's a fantastic joke. <laughs> it's like, uh, don't eat meat, you're killing animals, they feel pain. Don't eat plants, you're killing an- you're killing plants, you're, they feel pain. Mm-hmm. Go eat a rock. Oh, right? <laughs> don't. The rock has a family too. Yeah. <laughs> the metal's everywhere. Yeah, I attached some electrodes to that rock and it screamed when you threw it. So no more skipping rocks because they don't like it. Like it's just, I mean, there's some things that get to be, I mean, a little. And if people will be, they're very, very serious about it. Like they're, but I mean, I think you have to, some, in some ways, as, this, as the studies are coming out, you're, you're still trying to talk to yourself into it, right? You know what I mean? Like, you're still trying to be like, if you eat this way every single day, you are going to defend it. You're yep. going to look for, yep. you know. The I'm, positives. Mm-hmm. Or you're just going to get busy and be like, I have no time. We're, we're so busy. We are so busy yep. as a society. And really, I don't want to keep eating a single head of lettuce because that's the easiest thing to eat as a vegan. Like, and really. I mean, that's probably what the number one thing that people come in and they're like, I just, they get hungry. Mm-hmm. And, I, and like I said, I mean, if I hadn't, my kids follow though. Like, I mean, I still have two kids that don't eat. Or two, did you, no, one. Just Down Austin. Down to one, eh? Mm-hmm. Just Austin. Hear that, Austin? Just Austin. You're singled out. He's the bum. He's the one I send the, there's the cow playing fetch. Yes. Have you seen that? No, but it sounds funny. It was just cute. It was actually when I started to slowly, I don't remember thinking, oh, like it plays, it fully plays, it's like playing fetch and running back and playing with people. And I was like, (laughs) you can't eat this. So I sent it to all my kids. Hey. Oh, that's great, mom. Oh, that's so cute. No. I love it. They're all like, yeah, don't eat. And then Austin. You can't let them run around like that. It gets the meat all tough. Well, that is true, actually. It does, but... <laughs> he likes wow. to say these things to bug me, but seriously, it does bug me. Yeah, no. Just to bug but me. But, I mean, the, yeah, the, the, like, my daughter hasn't eaten meat in over a year. My son's in TRU. He stopped eating, completely stopped eating meat. Okay, good question. Mm-hmm. You've obviously known them their entire lives, at least I hope you have. Mm-hmm. You know. No, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> When mama's got a party, she yeah, got a party. Yeah, I got a party. It's been a bad decade. No, it's a bad decade. <laughs> okay, when your kids decided to actually change their entire diet, did you see an actual change in them? I did. Um, I did very much. So my son, especially my son, had ulcerative colitis. It was very sick. Um, he had his colon taken out. It wow. was years of in the hospital and years of uh, trying to save it, and and then we finally just decided for it to go. And uh, yeah, well, the problem, like a lot of, for him, it was this kind of eating actually can be the worst. Like, I mean, they, they're better off with a really processed food, which sounds insane. Sludgy. Yep. Anything slimy and greasy would, is good for their tummy, yeah. right? They have this. I mean, quinoa is like a grater going through. Like anything. Fun fact. Seeds, yeah. Your body can't actually digest this to where it actually breaks mm-hmm. down the cells. It does meat. Yeah. Which is why this is called roughage. It scrapes your insides mm-hmm. clean. Mm-hmm. When, I was, <laughs> when I was about 15 years old, mm-hmm. I was watching movies all day. Mm-hmm. It was movie day, yeah. I was watching the series, and I had bowls of popcorn, like mixed master bowls of popcorn. Yep. I must have eaten four to six of it all day long. Nothing but popcorn mm-hmm. all day long. That night, I had the worst pains in my life. I went to the hospital mm-hmm. and the doctor's like, so what have you been eating all day? Well, I told him, he's like, well, I got good news and bad news. 
one, you're, there's nothing I can really do if you're just going to have to ride it through. Yeah. And two, you're going to be really clean inside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's going through there like a, it's, yeah. yeah. So it was hard for him because he couldn't eat half the stuff. And so he's, he's, he figures out his way of what, like, what's easier now. He's missing some organs and stuff. So, I mean, obviously he's got, he still has a battle every day with being sick. But, mm -hmm. I mean, eating this way has been, has definitely changed, changed him. And same as my daughter. Like, it's just, she's diabetic. I have two kids that were sick. Wow. And uh, so, I mean, I think that's kind of where it started. Mm -hmm. You know, every time there was a sick, there, I would, you know, I would immediately make everything from scratch and everything was this. And every I knew very, very well that food was, was healing. Yep. And that, just you know. Just slowly. Yeah. It does take time. It does. It just takes, it's habits, you know. But, I mean, I honestly can't explain the, the switch of, like, stopping eating. Because it was, it was, I didn't, it's not even like I geared up for it and was talking about not eating meat. I stood there, looked at something, and was like, I, I, I am done. And I remember to the guy beside me, I said, I will never eat meat as long as I live. And he went, yeah, right. You still have any? How long ago was that? And I, it's got to be a couple of years. Could even be three. Wow. I would say it's two years for sure. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. About two years. And then, but I still had eggs and, you know, I still could have dairy here and there. And then that started to totally switch for me. I just started to try to be do more veganism, and I, I, then I went. Then you got to look at your makeup, and then you gotta. Yeah, once you go like, okay, I've changed this part of my lifestyle. I, I have to yeah. change everything else. Just getting gas the other day and looked down. I was like, I got leather boots on. Yes. Yeah, wait a minute! I'm burning dinosaurs. Exactly. Shouldn't I be using yeah. ethanol? Yeah, right? Where's my horse? <laughs> oh, I can't ride a horse. That's not fair to the horse. Like, it's just like I mean, you can get. I mean, there's no question that you can take this and just get like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. So it's about still having a sense of humor about life, about still, you know, you do your best every day. Yeah. You know, you can, you're going to screw up. You're not, you can't be perfect. And the people that are, that are doing this where they're like, oh, I mean, they're so, you can see them when they come in. It's just stress, right? You just, it's a slow evolution into eating this way. You just, your body starts to crave the food. You start to feel better with the food. You, right. you know, for me, I can, it, 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 it's just, it's just different. Like, and until you do it, you don't. Till you feel your body running on clean food, you will never know. You don't it. get it, so yeah. it's really hard for me to, like, to try to even talk to people because it's like you know, just just try it as a health thing. Don't even think about the animals. Don't even think about the pigs. Just think about the pigs. Think about yourself. Think about your body as a. This this is your one machine. You know, it's your one. If you don't keep this going. Then, and I mean, I even noticed like being the age I'm at now, like little things, you start to notice stuff. Since I've done this, I spent, I actually just thought about this the other night and right. it wasn't until I watched Game Changers that I would, hey, wait a second. I didn't even put it together. I used to constantly have body pain. Just like, constantly. I have a random ache. Like that just or? pain, my sh like my back, like I would constantly be, be like, this is hurting or my stomach is hurting or my hip is hurting or right. I have bursitis, I think, or. Like I always was physically in pain. I don't know from what, but I just, and I watched that show and I can't remember, it was a clip on there where somebody was saying, you know how much better they feel. And I thought- I've heard that, like they feel great. I haven't different. had, I don't have body pain like I used to. Like I don't- It's funny, it's funny how humans either. are like, I'm so hurting, but this is normal. And all of a sudden yeah. you're out of it. You're like, yeah. I'm not hurting, this is normal. And you forget about the yeah. hurt. Yeah, like I remember my wrists, like I could, I had like so many things from carrying trays for so many years, like problems with everything and I, I do not have any of that pain. Like really? I say, and, I, and, I, and I didn't even realize because it was a slow thing for me as well that I don't have that. I sleep better. I mean, I've always been a horrible sleeper, like really bad. And now I'm, I'm sleeping through the night. It's just, it's been, it's for me, just physically watching myself and, and what has happened is what makes me proud to talk to people about it and push the message and if they want to hear it or if not. There's get something... a glass of wine in me and I don't shut up about it. <laughs> 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 then I'm like, guess what? <clears throat> yeah. Right, I'll have to remember that to not give you wine. Yeah, yeah. not only when we're going to talk to people we don't like, then I'll be like, guess what? <laughs> Eat pigs, not <laughs> pigs. Yeah. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. You are going to be hanging or having some cooking classes here, aren't you? I'm going to. So I am... Um, like I've been, I have to say, the Salmon Arm has been absolutely amazing, and the surrounding area of the people that have come in, it has been, you know, I've been so supported. 
And mm-hmm. I kind of rolled in here quietly. You know, I did leave a big position. Mm-hmm. I was kind of keeping myself under the radar. Put a sale on Facebook. That's oh, it. Oh, re- yeah. Under so no, no, I never even was like, look at what I'm doing. Didn't even really put it on my own personal Facebook. I just, it was a good friend of mine that had this and who created this. And I just knew. I knew that I had to change things in my life. And then I've seen this sort of come up at a time when I was... Was really like yeah you know what? I could use this yeah I can run with and it. I didn't and I and I really didn't know I mean people would come in for the first few days that I was in here I didn't know I sat here like just staring at everything like my goodness like okay that's what cool. we're gonna do it and uh, it's just been a slow listening to people and and just seeing what people want and and going with that right I mean I obviously have the training from these these big corporations that. Um, I'm very grateful for the training I have to understand the industry, to understand food, to understand food costs, to understand cost control. To, to I have all that, right? That's so good. I mean, that, that makes a it makes a big difference for sure because I'm I'm comfortable in pricing. I'm comfortable in in um, and and it being just me makes it. You know, I don't go home and go. Oh, I hope they did the stuff. You know, mm-hmm, I know mm-hmm. I didn't do it. Is the lettuce out? Is yeah. the lettuce out? I wonder if somebody left that pot out there. If there's a pot out there, I did it. So I mean, that's. Yeah, you can only blame yourself. That's yeah, right. Yeah, I can only blame myself. But it's it's been amazing. I mean, I I'm, I'm excited. Like I, I I have more passion than I've had in years. That's so important. Yeah. and it's like I mean, real passion. Like four o'clock in the morning. Like I want to uh, get up. I want to get yeah. get the grind on. I'm ready. I want to educate. Rock. I want to help. Like, I, I just wanna... yeah. Like it's like four o'clock, and I'm like my internal alarm clock wakes up, and I'm I'm super excited. Like I'm right away online. I'm researching different things. Good for um, you. You know, like today, I made flax egg for the first time. With what? Right. <laughs> So you take flax seeds and you grind it to a powder. Okay, so like a pulpid powder. Powder. Okay. And you sit there and you fill it up and you put water and you put it aside for a second and it becomes gelatinous. It becomes the consistency. And it was the thing that oh, made the burgers work. And what's it called? That's There's right. Chickpea liquid? Oh my goodness. Aquafaba. Aquafaba. All these things I never knew. Like chickpea liquid is like gold to me now. Why? It's, it's, it's another egg substitute. And it's from nature. It's like it will actually bind what you're cooking. Oh. And it's it's just the bottom of the you'll and you'll just always start rinse your egg Yeah, you should be out. Gold. What is this goo that's in my chickpeas? Get oh, away. Yeah. I love watching people eat and they're always like, This is just delicious. What'd you bind it with? I'm like, I'll tell you later. Yeah, you just eat that right <laughs> now. Although you're eating dead like 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 going and eating dead animals is like, oh that's fine. But I'm like, Oh, don't tell them they're eating a flax egg. It's just it's just what we have in our head, right? Like it's it's yeah. I, on, I had no idea that uh, applesauce could actually be used as an egg substitute too for some recipes. Applesauce. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? I would say what? That, that flax egg was, was, was very exciting for me. Like, that's how you know you're getting a little older. So you're going to be teaching, like. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to tell you what I learned today flax egg. Yeah. Blow your mind. Yeah, I want to do teaching. So I want to do. Okay. I've got, I know I've got a ton of interest in that. And you're not just going to be teaching recipes like how to cook at home something like that but you're actually going to be educating someone yeah. on the food yeah. on I'm the good, health it, that's that's the lifestyle the everything like i mean anybody you can go do a cooking class and come in where i have everything lined up where i'm like put a half cup in everybody mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. i don't mm-hmm. want to do that that bores me you need to bring a lot more value nowadays no. and I, I i wouldn't want to do that if, I, if it's going to bring me to open up my shop and come in after hours it's something that i have to be passionate about yep. and i'm not passionate about that i am yep. passionate about veganism i am passionate about eating healthy i am passionate about pretty food and what it's going to do to your body and that's what it is i mean i can say i can say i did it like i i i I transitioned to this lifestyle and like i said even just like that blizzard having that how much that affected me like just in weird ways like i can't like the pain i had in my body how long ago was that that was like two weeks ago wow yeah that's interesting yeah and then it was like, right, because I was just, I mean, like I said, I still had dairy here and there, right? And so I didn't really think about it. And Maybe it was just DQ then. <laughs> I just was, it was literally, I just didn't even think. Just, I was like, do you oh. want to get a treat? We've done it a million times, gone for blizzards, and I just didn't even think about it until I was eating it. And I was like, oh. You want to know a fun fact? Mm. DQ is no longer actually named Dairy Queen. Really? Yeah. It's called DQ now. Do you know what? I did not even think about Dairy Queen. Till this what moment. dairy's got in it now? It's not fucking dairy they're no more. dairy over there my whole <laughs> life, see? It's the things you figure out where you're like, wait, the Dairy Queen. Mm-hmm. Right. Can't mm-hmm. go there anymore. 
until they have a substitute, an oat milk. Oat milk. That is huge. Really? Oh, yeah. Like, my grandma comes in and gets very upset. My grandma's 94. She's going to get upset with me if I get that wrong. 94 or 95. Always a healthy. Close. Like, oh, like, she, like, I had two grandmas. Now, that's the grandma that I would want to sit and eat when I was a kid. Now, it was the other grandma. She would do, you got cookies and treats. And, oh. You know, this grandma was, like, not even, like, you have oatmeal, but it was, like, the gross Bland. Oh, the, 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 the real rocky, like mm-hmm. the really, the seeds, like mm-hmm. it was just like, you didn't even get honey. Like it was just traumatizing to me. And now it's, she's 95 and still giving her, she's still driving around. She comes in for coffee, but she, you know, you get it. She's been doing something for 95 years. You, you just have said so important to so many mm-hmm. people. She's still driving. She's still driving. Like yeah. at 95 ish, yeah. like that's incredible. Most people lose mm-hmm. their license and she's, before then. And she's smart as a whip too, you know, she's still, she still is, uh, it's incredible. And it's just a life of, of eating healthy. You know, my grandfather was a dentist and, you know, so they, they just, or not a dentist, he was a chiropractor. He's a doctor. Yeah, he was some sort. He's know. a doctor, Jim. He was something, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and she, I just, my whole life, it was just, it, like I said, like, it was like, oh, I gotta go out with that grandma and eat. Whereas now I'm like, oh, I that grandma and eat, yeah. Oh, she'll call me and be like, I tried this or I tried that. And it's just, it's, it's, it shows you. you, you live this life. She's just, so and she's still there. I'd too. imagine she's quite proud of her actually, one, changing your own diet, and two, oh, having this. She is, but what maybe bring up grandma was as much as she's eating healthy, she's a cream in her coffee. So she came in and, you know, where's the cream? I've had it quite a few times where I'm like, cream. I don't have cream, but I have every nut milk. What nut milk? Oh, disgusting. But it's like, if you really think about it, it's like, how on earth is that disgusting? How is, Perception and taste buds. Right? And it's just like, if you really think about it, you're like, milk is designed to make a baby cow... Big, quickly! As fast as humanly possible, become this big beast. You know, that's the design in the cow and their breed of what they are designed for. And we're just eat it up, you know? Milk, 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 milk. Like, it's like you... And then you wonder why there's so many problems. And you wonder why there's... And especially now. I mean, I mean, back in the day, at least they were out of the barn. You know, at least they went out to their own farm and they mm-hmm. were milking their own cow. Yeah, one of my now best friends is, yeah. is a dairy farmer. It's basically organic dairy milk. Mm. And it is so... It, it's, it's way different, way more creamy, way thicker yeah. than anything that you'll get in the store. Oh, yeah. It's, it's pretty unbelievable when you start to see the... I mean, we, we would have no idea, but I mean, I, I don't remember what it was like, but, it, you know, 20 years ago, but I know it would have been better than the products that we have now. It's just, you know, everything has just been bled out. All the nutrients and everything bled out. Well, you gotta make it's a buck a somewhere. Fun. Yeah, right? Exactly. Oh, all hail the almighty Thin dollar. Out. Thin it out. Yeah, exactly. I can't see through it yet. Have, Keep going. Have you seen what they do to like so much meat that we, we use, like chicken? You know how much extra water just gets blasted into a chicken? Oh, there's two reasons crazy. there's two reasons why they do that. Mm-hmm. One, to bulk it out. Wait. And two is because apparently if you, if you don't do that, it'll dry out too much because most people can't cook a damn ch- ch- uh, chicken breast. Mm-hmm. They'll, uh, it's, it's, it's used to moisturize it, keep it moisturized. It is, it's crazy. It's crazy. And just to, it, even the amount of water that is, is, it just... I saw it happen. It went from this yep. to this. Mm-hmm. It, it gave like 40% like in we, volume. We have probably, you know, we need our resources and we need to get smarter. But this new generation that's coming up, I mean, you see it in them. I can tell I've had how many a few dads that keep coming in and bringing me you can tell they're like they would rather they want you know I can see I'm it. Oh, a triple O. Oh, I can see it that he's like I'll get a burger when I leave and you know he'll they'll you know then they'll eat it and they'll walk up and go you know what that was actually really good. I mean the the little girl wants a Instagram shot or of course an Angela or whatever it is, right? Um or you're drinking a smoothie, I'm doing this because it is all the rage and it is something cool right now. Um but it's great. If anything that's going to pick up steam and be cool let it be kindness. Do you know who Gary Vee is? Who? Gary Vaynerchuk. That is super familiar. Oh man, anyone who does not who know who Gary Vee is, I recommend definitely looking at him. His, his basic principle to life is be kind. Mm-hmm. It's, and it's, true. it's so simple. It is so simple. <laughs> you know, and I started down this path about a year, a year and a half ago of, of just seeing the world a little bit differently. And the difference it's made in my life. I mean, I transitioned right out of a corporate life. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I physically couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't sit in meetings. And, you know, I just, everything was so, like, this doesn't matter. Oh. Do you guys all know this? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it was just like the corporate life, the corporate life, the corporate life. Yeah. And I just, 
you weren't or happy. No. I get it. And, and I mean, did I put a face on to, to all the people who always said, well, you're so friendly when I was down there. I said, yeah, I was good at what I did. That's why I rose to the top. You know, I was, I can sit and smile and be like, yeah, how's your steak? Yeah. I'm going to throw up, but how is it? You know, I mean, I was, I never, you know, it's not like I'd go up to the tables. I was at a steakhouse. I mean, I, I didn't really talk about it, but near the end, I started to catch myself and I was like, oh. You're like, oh, it's so gross. Just like, uh, oh wait, that was in front of a customer. Well, you know what, <laughs> my fa- well, not my favorite, but, but one of the things is, you know, they, the, the meat is tough. And, um, one of the things you figure out when you become vegan Should've is... punched it more. <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, the, the reason is, is usually, usually, if the animal is extremely scared this is horrible but it's true okay if an animal is truly petrified for their life they will clench their muscles right before they're killed and so they you know, like you would do like if you saw it coming you're gonna go like this right? I've, I've heard yeah. I've heard it where like a lot of butchers will make it be by surprise because yeah. it, the brain will shoot some sort yep. of chemical which will taint the meat it's, and the, the whole yeah. stress thing yeah and so it just goes flying through and it's just like a stress it's a stress whatever it is yep. hormone whatever is going through them and it will toughen the, the meat is tough um, so little things that I, I didn't know. I think of how many times in my life I've been like, well, they're not as good as chicken, you know? It's a yeah, little... It's a little t- well, now it I... It tastes look- like fear! Yeah. Ah. Mm, this guy was real scared. Yeah, <laughs> this guy was... Like, it's just, when you start to know, and I know now, I mean, it's harder, and especially being in here, I mean, people come in, are telling me things I didn't know. Like, I'm not... I, I, I'm not this huge vegan. Like, I was like, oh, I've been a vegan since I was 14. Yeah, you're not pushy about no. it. No, like, I mean, I'm kind of going through this process myself i mean i haven't eaten meat in years right but like i said you know i mean i still have dairy here and there i didn't really then you start looking in dairy you're better off to drink dairy you know they they suffer or the dairy you're better off to just eat the meat than to have dairy because the, oh, yeah. they, the suffering is involved in the dairy industry is like it's just astronomical and then once you start to uncover this stuff how do you go back how do I do I it? I can't unknow it. Yeah, it's like, how do I, and then I, you know, you wonder, I'm like, where am I going to go from here? You know, it's yeah. just like, is this going to keep? I'm going to eat a rock. Right? <laughs> like, I mean, like, what, 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 what is life going to entail? But I mean, all I know is just, just live intuitively and, and do everything with kindness. I like it. Mm-hmm. I really like it. Mm-hmm. That is, that's a very good message. Mm-hmm. And go and be you, happy. Be happy and smile. Make eye contact with people. It'll shock you. If the eye contact and the little smile. It, it, it makes it, the it, wonders not yeah. only to their life, but to even to your own. It does. I've, had, I've, I've done that. I've had days just where I'm just in a really good mood and I'm a chatty person and the, the, you can see it in some people where you make eye contact they and need you smile. That. They needed It was a weird little moment, but you can physically feel people like, Prop up. Oh, thank you. Like, or yeah. just sigh. Uh, good, yeah. It is a beautiful day. Yeah, you can, you can see them. It's just be kind. Like it's not, this isn't that hard, but we live in a, a, a world that is so fast paced especially and then head down head down don't make eye contact we got to go here we got to do this you know yeah. and uh, turning against you know it turns us all against each other we're all in a manner it mm-hmm. does we're all on our phones we're all here you know i had somebody come in today and same thing i'm just the like, watch game changers and transitioning and and so i said yeah well well where's your menu and i said well i don't really we don't have a lot of paper here so just you know, yeah, we're trying to save trees. Hello. Do you know us? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, really. do you know where you are? Zero waste vegan yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. As if we have paper. <laughs> so they came in and it was the same type of thing. You could just see. And he was like, but there's a lot of people now who are trying to get away from electronics. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's a very, very, it's a growing movement Movement of, of trying to get people away from screens. I mean, that's, it's amazing. It's hard. Even when you're in business, you're like, okay, well, how am I going to reach so many people? But man, we, what a world it would be to where we could all start engaging again, you know, like where you could actually meet people in a day and, and, and not be so hidden. And that's what this place has done for me is it has, I I knew a lot of people in town, obviously from being in the restaurants and different families and whatnot. And uh, yeah, this was, this, this has afforded me this life of, of being able to just be kind all day long. Cool. Come in and make things from scratch and make people happy and yeah I, I am very very blessed it all and it just all sort of happened too like it's just sort of nicely fell yeah. into place where you did yeah life just sort of it didn't it wasn't falling in place it was like okay life's not working out so hot right now and then like I said this place happened I just sort of came in every day and started cooking and cook the way I've always cooked too like I've always been able to cook I just so this is quite literally home cooking everything's from scratch yeah completely everything dressings 
Um, just the, not the cheese because you bought that. Yeah, no, no, that's not from scratch. Um, <laughs> cheese is not the Daya. I use some of the Daya products. A lot of the black sheep, they're a phenomenal product. But yeah, no, I, I just, even the lasagnas, the marinara is from scratch in the morning and you, I roast every vegetable and, you know, it's, it's, it's cooking with love. That's for sure. And I taste it. Mm-hmm. All right, well, let's, let's wrap this thing up. Okay. Eat these things up. Mm -hmm. What? When are you actually going to be doing your cooking classes? When are you going to be educating people? Do you have a plan on that? I'm going to try for the next three weeks. Um, I did get quite a bit busier than anticipated, so I, I but I, I've streamlined it. I just have to come at six in the morning. That's the secret. <laughs> I can't roll in at eight. So I just, as long as I'm here and I get my prep done and do all that, uh, I'm thinking it'll be probably like the third week, kind of in November. Um, watch us online. You can see on Instagram. Follow the Smudge and Austria. Yeah, I try to hit Facebook as much. For some reason, it's I just don't go there. I just Instagram. <laughs> so I'm trying to broaden that out and, and also uh, go on Facebook. But yeah, I'll put everything on there. Kind of keep an open dialogue. Try to put specials on every day and keep connected to everybody and show the food. Fantastic. I mean, that's huge. You know, you want to see what you're getting. Now, what's your actual address here? It's, it's, what street is this? Hudson, 140. Hudson. 140 Hudson Seminar. You find Smudge Nauchery. Mm -hmm. Smudge Nauchery. You can look at Candy Bowl. <coughs> if you put the can, apparently, some people have had a hard time finding me. Really? Um, yeah. And it is surprising because this, this has been here for a year. A couple? Yeah. A year and a half. But there's a shocking amount of people that are like, what? Yeah. Yeah. And there's a, a what, what's in this back there? I can't remember. So it's like, well, it's a wellness collective in here. So what's great is I feed people and I make people healthy. And then we have Kate in the back and we have Anne and some other people that. They do massage, we have the float tank back there, um, neuro chair, it's, it's really cool. Like some of the stuff back there, I mean, come in here, grab a bite to eat, but then also check out, it's the Wellness Collective. That's mm -hmm. so cool. It is very cool. All right guys, there's gonna be five chagas waiting for whoever is going to be claiming them. If you don't do it by January 1st, I'm gonna drink every last drop and I'm going to enjoy it all. <laughs> have a great day everyone, bye. Thank you. Thanks everyone for listening. Your attention means the world to me. Please, please, please share this. Pass it on. And tell your friends it's the best podcast in the Shushua. <laughs> Let me know what you thought. Have a good day.